Hey guys, Dale Colvin here with your Bull Shoals Lake Boat Dock Fishing Report. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd. Uh, lake level's at 651. Uh, still low out there, guys, so be careful going across the lake. We got some points that are barely out of the water there. Um, it's crazy. Water temp is 53 degrees, guys. It's uh, I found temperatures up to 56, 57 degrees. Uh, we had so a little bit of rain, and that helped uh, bring the temps up a little bit. Uh, in the back of those creeks, we got a little bit of uh, runoff going into them, and that's helped stirring up the water. That water is warming up pretty quick. As long as the temperature stays warm, that's going to keep things moving right along. We're way ahead of schedule compared to last year. Um, I've been focusing on that dirtier water. Out on the main lake, uh, the water's still real clear. You can see down 15, 20 feet, depending on where you're at, uh, and depending on the day. So up the lake, I've been up the Big Creek, Gooley Creek. Uh, definitely some water color up there, and there's a couple things that have been working up there. Um, guys are doing real well still throwing the A-Rig up there. The A-Rig's bringing in a lot of fish up there and that's going to work here for a little while still uh, until those fish move up. up. Um, they're already starting to move out of their winter haunts. Um, I don't see any big cold, major cold fronts coming through, but you never know. Um, A-Rig's working up there guys. We're catching them on wiggle wart. Um, Catching a few on the channel swing banks. Um, a rig's working well in the, in the uh, bluff end still. Also in the main lake pockets, where if you got wind blowing in them, guys are doing well on that. Um, I don't see that lasting for too much longer if the water temp keeps going the way it is. Um, and then the wiggle wart. Um, a lot of guys ask me what the colors I throw in it, and it really depends on the day. Um, if it's real windy and the wind's blowing and it's it's cloudy, I'll go with a darker color. But if it's clearer, you know, the more of the translucent colors are going to work. Um, you catch them on the old red craw, um, the phantom greens, the watermelons. Um, if I get in that real dirty water, you seem to catch some fish on the, the darker colors. This is a, or brighter colors I should say. It's a Brad's Wiggler and just parallel in the bank guys. The channel swings, uh, where the channel swing goes in, I'm going to the, it's the time of year I'm going all the way to the back of the creek and I'm fishing my way out. Um, and I'm, I'm already checking those spawning pockets. There's cruisers up there. Um, so it's uh, it's kind of a crazy thing how fast everything's going. Uh, some guys are also catching a few. Um, slow rolling a spinner bait if it's super windy. I picked a couple fish up on it. Um, super windy and the, the water's dirty and you know the fish are there. Um, I'm catching a few on a spinner bait, but that's not quite going yet. Same thing with the swim bait. Um, it's almost there. You can pick up a swim bait, slow roll a little Kai Tech. Um, spinner bait's working up there too. Uh, if you get, if you can find the brush piles anywhere in, in 10 to 25 feet, seem to be holding fish in them if the water's right or if, if you're close to a channel swing. Um, also catching some fish going along uh, where the channel swing ends and cut, let's say it goes up against the bank and comes up onto a flat. Uh, don't be afraid to go up on that flat if there's a uh, wind blowing on it. You know, I'm catching fish real, real shallow for this time of year. You know, uh, five foot of water to 10 foot of water out to 15. Uh, just depends on the bank and how it's how it's set up. If you get in that those creek arms and you've got the the, the clay bank mix where it transitions in from clay to uh, 
uh, chunk rock. If there's any kind of cover in there, that's Crawdad Haven, and that's that's where the the wiggle wart's been working pretty good. Some guys are throwing a jig up there. That'll work. <coughs> um, but those fish are a lot of those fish have moved up out of the out of the deep haunts there, and they're starting to cruise around. Um, this time of year, I'm going all the way to the back of the creek, ch checking it all, and working my way out. Um, and it's the time of year where you can go to the back, and, and you know I like to keep them honest. Uh, I, I caught some fish in spawning pockets yesterday. It was crazy. Um, Jerk bait guys, if you do get a little bit of a cold front, they're down down the lake down here. I've been catching quite a few on a jerk bait. Uh, a little bit of a dock pattern going on. Um, throwing a Vision 110, you know, it all depends on the day. If it's cloudy and windy, um, those fish are moving up around those deeper docks. Um, I'll work the outside of it with a jerk bait, go around the side, I'll pitch a jig or a shaky head if it's a gravelly dock. Um, shaky head's still working. And those deep docks have got uh, a drop shot bite. You know, instead of that 40 to 50 foot bite, um, kind of moved up to that 25 to 35 foot. If it's sunny out, I prefer to use the worm bait, I don't know why. It seems to pick up a few more fish if it's sunny around those docks. I'm working the shady sides of the docks, but if it's sunny outside, the worm seems to be picking up a few more fish. Um, if it's windy, I'll pick up, and cloudy, I'll pick up a shad style drop shot bait. Um, it's, it's spring next week. It's, feels like spring for the last week temperatures are warm guys are already catching whites um, white bass have started to move up towards the back of the creeks um, guys are also starting to catch the walleye uh, talk to a few guys that are catching them throwing jerk baits a couple on swim baits so that bite is going to continue to go looks like it's the little males moving up so if you like to go chase the whites, now's the time to head to the very back and start throwing your uh, white white bass stuff. Same thing with the walleye guys. It seems traditionally you've got a week to two week uh, period where those walleyes will come up shallow. So uh, if you can get out in the evening, throw a jerk bait around the last couple hours, you should be doing all right. Uh, the, the, the walleye tend to gravitate towards the gravel stuff. Any kind of gravel transition, that's where you're going to run into them walleye on the secondary points usually. So good luck guys. Um, I'm booking up pretty quick. So if you guys got a want to get a trip in, give us a call. we would be more than happy to take you out. Uh, it's, it's right around the corner guys. So give us a call. We'll get you in the book.